the movie is about Ravish, like we said, it's about TV news, it's about journalism. But there is the figure of Prime Minister Narendra Modi also. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much, uh, you know, I wouldn't say Ravish versus Modi or what journalism should be versus what journalism has become after Modi came to power. But there is this sense of what nationalism has to mean, uh, what your duty as a citizen has to mean. So there's always this fight with what is happening in the newsroom, what Ravish is doing, what journalists are doing on NTV versus what is expected of them in this new India under Prime Minister Modi. Uh, and when you do a film like that, mm. and you know, given that you're saying that you've been trying to put this out and you haven't yet got anyone who's come to you excitedly, enthusiastically and said, I'm going to screen it. Were you aware of this challenge as a filmmaker that even as, you know, because when you hear of censorship, even in Bombay, you know, there was that New Yorker piece where OTTs are worried, everyone's worried, everyone's just, you know, scripting a certain way, preempting what could happen even if the government doesn't give a shit. So, as a filmmaker, were you aware of this? Does this worry you? Or you're like, okay, I'm going to do my thing and then let's see. We'll find our audience, we'll find things. We can't be worried about, you know, what I'm putting out and who it may upset. I mean, see, the thing is, with regards to, uh, you know, Prime Minister Modi's presence in the film, it's without a doubt that he is probably the most significant uh, and influential political leaders in modern India. Hmm. Uh, there is no way that you can have a conversation with regards to where we are uh, without acknowledging uh, acknowledging him. Mm. Uh, my job as a storyteller is to think about the times that we are in. Uh, you know, at the same time, very often our conversations and concerns uh, get uh, so centered in today that it feels like everything is happening because of this one government or this one leader. I started making the last film, which was both me and Kujbu were making with the Ahmadi Party. Uh, at that point, the sitting chief minister in Delhi uh, had been a three-term chief minister from India's most political, uh, from India's most famous political party. I can't tell you the number of people who discourage me. Mm. So the tides have never necessarily been in favor of filmmakers like me. Was I aware that it was going to be difficult? Of course I was aware, right? It's not like you are, I'm, I'm in that newsroom. I'm aware of the difficulties that people are facing who are trying to make films like the ones that I am making. I take a certain leap of faith forward believing that the conversation that I'm looking to have is not necessarily you know, wound around, for example, say Ravish or NDTV or one leader or one political party, I am looking for systemic solutions which are driven forward by empathy, which are driven forward by complex understanding of where we are today. If people feel that I am taking a pot shot or a cheap shot at somebody, then you can criticize me for it. Mm -hmm. I am only trying to trying my hardest to understand what's around me and even those who are not like me. Uske aage bhi bahut mushkilat hoti hain, matlab, you know, in terms of raising money for this film, in terms of trying to get this film out. But wo battle to maine apne, apne aap ke liye choose kiya hai. Mujhe kisi ki, uh, I don't need anybody's sympathy. You know, I signed up for it knowingly that this is a conversation. But I believe that people want to have this conversation. It's a, it's an urgent conversation. People on all sides are looking to have it. I don't think the idea that we need a better media and better systems around the media is alien to anyone.